Alright, what's up guys? I'm at Ross Dress for Less, looking for some shoes. I'm feeling something casual. Let's see what we have here. Good ear. There's Mike Phantom. Oh, what is this right here? Jordan logo? Are these Air Jordans? Mars? You got a Nike Air? What is this? What are these? Oh, these are the brand new um, Nike Air Jordan 270s. How much is the price? Oh, only $59.99. I think I'm gonna have to take this home, guys. It's beautiful. Woo-wee, boy, am I super lucky and happy to finally own my very first pair of Air Jordans. You guys saw the spectacular price I paid for this? Under $60, these are still going on strong on the internet for like $120 upwards to $200, depending on which color. That's more rare to buy. So these are the Nike Air Jordan 270s. Basically, it uses the retro design from four previous Jordan designs to incorporate it into a collaboration between Nike and Air Jordan. Do you see the Air Max soles? Let's go ahead and take a look at it. I love that black finish, kind of like a ninja style to it. The shoe features, man-made suede material that's smooth to the touch, almost like it was velour. You have these eye holes right here for greater ventilation, along with the turquoise color. There is different colorways that you can choose from. Here is the mesh swoop design. Traditionally, Jordans don't have the Nike Air Swoosh because of, obviously that's the Nike logo. All right, so the Mars design dates back to the 1990s where, you know, uh, Spike Lee, the director, was uh, part of the Jordan Nike commercial because Jordan can jump up to Mars and that's what it was all about. All right, so you got a Nike Mars tab right there. Got a Nike Swoosh with the mesh, exclusive of Jordan brand. Very nice suede finish right there. This looks like it glows in the dark. That's how beautiful it is. Check out the eyelets. All right, you have the plastic eyelets for the shoe strings. And of course, the Jordan logo on the front tongue right here. If you look on the back, guys, it even has like this plastic loop, kind of like a rear spoiler, if you whatnot. Semi hard and another Jordan brand insignia on the bottom. This is a very thick Air Night Air Max so with 270 with a shiny finish right there, all right? And here's what the bottom looks like. You know, typical of a basketball shoes. Got uh, just the right amount of cushion and also traction for the court or casual wear. And on the interior tongue, it has the Air Jordan. I really like that. It really makes it stand out. And if you are to look on the inside, you see the Mars logo right there with the Jordan branding. And I don't think the interior sole is removable. Yeah, I don't think it is. But it's, it's quite beautiful, guys, quite beautiful. So I'm a big fan of Adidas shoes. As you can see, I'm even sporting the uh, Adidas Adidas slides. <laughs> Typically, you know, for sports shoes, tennis shoes, I tend to wear like a size nine, but this is the closest pair that uh, I can get, you know, that can fit me, even though it's a size eight and it fits. See, fits fine right there, see? With uh, just right amount of room, probably like a half inch of movement right there. So it's gonna be fit, it's gonna fit a little bit more snugger. I can already tell this gives me a greater height. This is perfect for us short people. I'm only 5'7", so I definitely will appear taller wearing these. Not only are these stylish, it's uh, it's, I would call height tactical. <laughs> One thing I noticed about Nike shoes, I think they tend to run half size bigger. All right, so we have a size eight Adidas Ada Power 2, Adidas Power Lift 2, size nine, and a size nine uh, Puma California. As you can see right here, size eight, right? Compared to that, even though, you know, the Nike sole sticks out a little bit, uh, makes it look like a size nine or nine and a half. But if I feel it down here, it probably, if, comes right here so it probably like feels like eight and a half so we move over here and compare it to the power lift you know size nine as you can see it's uh 
it feels like a size eight and a half, not exactly a nine. And you compare it to the Puma, also similarly, see? That's why Nike tends to run a little bit bigger. All right, so what do you guys think? These are real nice looking. Look at how it matches my sweatpants. I really like that black finish with the turquoise, just a little color to it. That way, you know, if you, it's black, you can basically match it with your favorite denim, any type of pants, sweatpants, this is mine. They feel a little bit rigid right now, but that's true in case of basketball shoes, any type of basketball shoes. I feel a lot of air cushioning, uh, especially in the back, of course, with that Nike Air Max 270 degrees with significant amount of cushion and air in it. It's going to be perfect for you to step up your basketball game. I bet you this would be perfect for hardwood or on concrete, any type of flooring. It looks great. You can wear it casually. And Ross Rest for Lettuce for always hooking up with all these great deals. Go check them out. These are the Nike Air Max 270s. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.